Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to discuss how to get the equation of a tangent to a circle. Now before we do this, you need to know your grade 11 geometry where they discuss the theorem that says a line drawn from the center to the tangent is perpendicular to the tangent. Now why would this be important? Whenever you are given equation of a tangent, remember, draw in your radius. Because as soon as you draw it in, so from my center, I'm moving to my tangent. As soon as you draw it in, you know, hey, this angle is 90 degrees, which becomes very important to get the equation of a tangent. Now, we know that an equation of a tangent is a straight line. Okay? Usually you would have done calculus before this section. So if you had completed calculus, you can go over the videos of equations of a tangent in calculus. You'll see they're very similar. What do we need when we need an equation of a tangent? It's a straight line. So the heart of a straight line is a m and a point. It's always m and a point. Now, how can I get m of this line with only one coordinate? You can't. But you can get M of the line that's on the center. So the line coming from the center to the point where it meets is what you call the radius. You can always get the gradient of the radius. So how are we going to do this work? Number one, you're always going to get M of the radius. Now, this is important because sometimes you won't get the radius in your drawing. You have to draw it in. And if you don't think to draw it in, you're stuck. You won't know what you need to do and you'll just be stuck. You won't know how to go on. So remember, draw your radius if it's not there and get the M of your radius. Now if I have two coordinates, minus 4 and 2 and 1 and minus 3. M is easy. You should know this from your grade 10 analytical. If you're not okay with this, you need to go over your grade 10 analytical because this is important. Analytical geometry in grade 12 is tested from grade 10 work. It's not like they're going to skip a section. Grade 10, 11, and 12 analytical works completely hand in hand. Now by substitution, we have minus 3 minus 2 all over 1 plus 4. If you're not okay with how I did that, you need to go over your grade 10 work. Our final answer is minus 1. How do I get our M2? We know that M1 times M2 is equal to negative 1. How do I know it's 90 degrees? Because tangent perpendicular to radius, which is your grade 11 geometry. If m, the radius 1, is minus 1, that would mean m2 is equal to 1. Again, this is done in your analytical geometry in grade 10. Now, we have the gradient. And they've given us a point. You take the point that is touching your line. So I have y minus y1 is equal to mx minus x1. You can use the formula y is equal to mx plus c. There's no problem with using that formula. y minus 2, I get my 2 from my coordinate, is equal to 1 into x minus minus 4. Again, which coordinate am I using? I'm using the one that is touching my tangent. You can't use any random point that you see. It has to touch your tangent. y is equal to 1x plus 4 plus 2 which gives me y is equal to x plus 6. That is the equation of our tangent. We're going to do equations of a tangent but this time it's not going to have a drawing. Let us look at the following equation. It says determine the equation of a tangent to a circle with the following equation x squared plus 6x plus y squared minus 2y is equal to 15. The tangent passes the point 1 and minus 1. Now we know to get the equation of a tangent, I need m and I need a point. Our point is sorted out, 1 and minus 1. But the gradient is a problem. Now when you can't see it, you know if we had a circle and we had a tangent, and that was 1 and minus 1, we need the center in order to get m because with the center we get r and with r we get m. So when they give you this equation like this, they intentionally trying to see do you know how to get the center 
without us even giving it to you. Now this was done in our previous video where the circle was not 0, 0 and you had to change it from a standard point to a center equation. So we had done this video before. If you're not familiar with this, go to your previous video under analytical grade 12 and look at it. Right, what did we decide? That when we have the equation x squared plus 6x plus y squared minus 2y is equal to 15. To get the center, we can do derivative or we can do turning points. Where the turning points is x is equal to minus b over 2a. But you would come to the same answer. So it doesn't matter which method you use. Okay. So our center would be x plus 3 over 2 all squared plus y minus 1 all squared is equal to 15. And then you need to add the extras, which means in this case I'm adding plus 9 over 4 and I'm adding plus 1. To get the equation, we didn't need to do this, but that is usually they would tell you, get the equation of the circle in this form. Then the next question will be, get the equation of the tangent. But had they not asked us, we only needed the center, which was minus 3 over 2 and 1. So you could have stopped at this level. But most of the time they do ask the question, that's why I continued with it. Now, let's go to our steps. We need to get M. We first get m of the radius, right, that would be, so we have m is equal to minus 4 over 3. Now again, if you are not okay with how I did this, you have to go over your grade 10 work. Now this is m of r. How do I get m of my tangent? We know m of r times my m of the tangent is going to equal to negative 1. Why? Because it's tangent perpendicular to radius. So from that we know that m of the tangent is going to equal to 3 over 4. You should know how I'm doing this because all this is done in grade 10 and in grade 11 analytical. Now after this we simply use the formula and substitute. Remember, the point we use must touch the tangent. So you're not going to use minus 3 over 1. You're going to use 1 and minus 1. So we have y plus 1 is equal to 3 over 4 into x minus 1. Then you can simply solve. Which gives us y is equal to 3 over 4x minus 7 over 4. Thank you for watching.